Hello, Dan here from BT. This is the last video on Battle on Bago. Unfortunately, this is the day when I did a little bit of damage. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head through the water. It's about to get real. Yeah, so, uh, so again, do not, do not hold on to that back window. <laughs> this ice was broken by me the previous day. Overnight low was around Let's zero degrees ice, Fahrenheit. Uh-oh. Right over this. We're not going to break through, it looks like. Oh, dang. Oh, oh. Honestly, this ice was unlike any ice I've encountered before. It was a lot <laughs> stronger and denser, for lack of a better term, than what I was oh. used to. Pieces did not break up as easy oh. as what I <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dang, that ice is thick. They're hanging out the back. I gotta put more air on. Seems like it's fine.
think there's ice like all jammed up. That is the stuff of legends. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. So, it appears what happened when I was inside of the water is there was a big chunk of ice that got jammed between the wheel well and the tire which hit the ring that holds the bead seal uh, for the tire. It got a hole in it. Um, there, there was a leak because I could hear it later in this journey, but I'm not going to subject you to all of that. So long story short is I gave up for the day and just kind of sat by the tent and talked about the Sherp with other people. I did try to do what Ostacruiser did and smashed it with a sledgehammer to try to just hope that it would seal up. It did not. However, when I went to leave, uh, I was able to keep air in the tires all the way to my house. So right now, I cannot get the lug nuts off of the rim. I am don't have an air wrench that is strong enough to do that, nor am I strong enough to do that. So I am going to get some help to get that completed. We'll get the Sherp up and running again, and uh, I'll come to you with my next adventure. Take care.